Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Green Ground, your go-to channel for the latest and greatest in news, reviews on movies, TV series, and technology. I'm Alvin, your host, and today we have a monumental topic to discuss that has been making waves across the globe. Yes, we're diving deep into the historic conviction of former President Donald Trump. This is not just any news. It's a seismic event that has the potential to reshape the political landscape of the United States and beyond. So grab your popcorn, sit back, and let's unravel this unprecedented story together. On May 30, 2024, a Manhattan jury delivered a verdict that will be etched in the annals of history. Donald Trump, the 45th president of the United States, was found guilty on all 34 counts of falsifying business records. These charges stem from a $130,000 hush money payment made to adult film star Stormy Daniels during the 2016 election campaign. The payment was intended to silence Daniels about an alleged affair with Trump, which he vehemently denies. The jury's decision marks the first time a former U.S. president has been convicted of a crime, making this a landmark case in American jurisprudence. The trial, which began in April 2024, was a spectacle in itself, presided over by Manhattan Supreme Court Justice Juan Merchant. The courtroom was a battleground of legal arguments, emotional testimonies, and high-stakes drama. Trump who attended the trial daily, did not testify but was a constant presence, often addressing the media outside the courthouse. His defense team argued that the payments were legal expenses, but the prosecution painted a different picture, accusing Trump of orchestrating a criminal scheme to influence the 2016 election. One of the most compelling aspects of the trial was the testimony of Michael Cohen, Trump's former lawyer and fixer. Cohen detailed how he facilitated the payment to Daniels and was later reimbursed by Trump with the transactions falsely recorded as legal fees. This, according to the prosecution, was a clear attempt to cover up the true nature of the payments and deceive the public. Cohen's testimony was corroborated by David Pecker, the former publisher of the National Enquirer, who testified about a meeting at Trump Tower where the hush money scheme was allegedly hatched. The jury, composed of 12 Manhattan residents, deliberated for two days before reaching their unanimous verdict. As the four-person readout guilty 34 times, Trump sat expressionless, a stark contrast to his usual bombastic demeanor. Outside the courthouse, reactions were polarized. Supporters of Trump decried the verdict as a political witch hunt, while opponents hailed it as a victory for the rule of law. President Biden, in a measured response, emphasized that the verdict underscores the principle that no one is above the law. The implications of this conviction are far-reaching. Trump is scheduled for sentencing on July 11, just days before the Republican National Convention, where he is expected to be formally nominated as the party's 2024 presidential candidate. The sentencing could range from fines and probation to up to four years in prison. However, Trump's legal team has already signaled their intention to appeal, arguing that the trial was biased and the jury prejudiced. This conviction adds a new layer of complexity to the already tumultuous 2024 presidential race. Trump, now a convicted felon, continues to campaign vigorously, using the verdict to galvanize his base. His supporters see him as a martyr, a victim of a corrupt system, while his detractors view the conviction as a long overdue reckoning. Polls suggest that while the verdict may sway some independent voters, Trump's core base remains steadfast. Internationally, the reaction has been equally intense. Media outlets around the world have covered the story extensively, with headlines ranging from guilty, 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 to a dark day for America. The conviction has sparked debates about the integrity of the U.S. justice system and its implications for global politics. In countries like Germany and the United Kingdom, the news dominated front pages, while in places like South Africa and India, it took a back seat to local events. What does this mean for the future of American politics? Will Trump's conviction be a turning point, a moment of accountability that restores faith in the rule of law? Or will it further untrench the deep divisions that have characterized recent years? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain. This is a story that will continue to unfold in the months and years to come. So what are your thoughts on this historic verdict? Do you think it will impact the 2024 election? Will it change the way we view our leaders and hold them accountable? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update from Green Ground. For more detailed information, check out the description below. Until next time, stay informed and stay engaged.